Hi, it's John here, just going to show you this cane toad trap. Just made out of a couple of buckets. Just swivels on a fishing line. I've got a worm and a hook to trap cane toads. A cheap solar powered light comes on at night. And a bit of Velcro tape that clips on the top there. Tracks the moths and tracks the toads. We'll just have a look down there. See, there's a yeah. seven or eight toads, a lot of little ones in there. They can't jump out of there, it's just a little bit too high. We've got a little bit of water in there with holes drilled about one inch from the bottom so she drains out. They seem to be attracted to a little bit of water. Try and keep a female in, the, in there to attract the males. Grab a few of these in. These are originally from South America and brought to Queensland and 1930s to control the sugarcane beetle but it didn't work and they starting to spread around Australia. They made it to Western Australia now. They're up in the Kakadu in the Northern Territory and they've down New South Wales, I think they made it to Sydney. Oop. This one's been jumping. Back in there, put them in a the bucket. There we go. They've got a little, lot of little ones here. Must be because it's the end of summer now, and they're breeding or something. You can see there how high these ones can jump. I think this one might be a female so I'll put this one back in the trap try and attract a few males they just come along here and jump in this one here I might put this one back in too Take these upstairs and put them in a plastic bag, put them in a the fridge till they go to sleep. Then I'll freeze them. Apparently that's the best way to, most humane way to get rid of them. These things mean killing a lot of native animals, frogs, lizards, goannas, even crocodiles apparently up in the Kakadu. Poison glands. Poison glands on the side of the neck here. I don't even see any poison come out, but a lot of dogs get poisoned by them. There it is. See this white stuff here. You gotta be careful that can get in your eyes and cause a bit of damage. There's some poison there. Okay, thanks for watching.